Hey guys, I'm picking up something here. What the hell is that? Have the chicken overlords finally come for us? <laughs> oh, gee, they have. Wait, what? I was joking. Defend yourself. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Air Marty. That game where one minute you're a responsible family man, and then the next you're getting tackled by a U.S. Air Marshal for barbecuing mid-flight and questioned by the CIA with a car battery clamped to your nips. You know, how Marty gets into these situations depends entirely on our choices. And we've only seen like a dozen of 64 possible endings, so once again, prepare for takeoff. Meet Marty and his family. And some of you guys who have already met them pointed out in the comments of last episode that Marty's kid might just be adopted. Like, I was always under the impression that Marty's wife was a hussy and cheating on him. And he was too much of an idiot to figure it out. <laughs> You know, based off of every experience we've had with the two of them so far, Marty's hard work has finally paid off. He's saved enough for a family vacation. It makes sense, right? He's always working, he's never home. You never know what kind of mulatto-skinned milkman is making extra deliveries to his house while he's away. Won't you join them? I think we will. I know how to get to a new ending, but I don't know what that ending is. It's easier said than done, but I've got a plan. Welcome aboard Paradise Air Flight 316. We thank you for flying with us today. Now please, buckle up and enjoy your flight. I always enjoy these flights. I have yet to have a bad flight, but buckling up is something that I don't actually want to do. Just gonna go ahead and toss this into my nose and then have a good flight standing. Oh. Step one complete. Gosh dang, these belts sure are tricky. I still don't understand why this plane has hardwood floors, or her half has hardwood floors. Marty's half is sticky for some reason. Marty, stop playing around and put my purse away. Oh. Stop thinking about the floors. Sure thing, honey. Squish my way over here, stow the purse. Okay, Marty, we actually do want to stow the purse, so you're gonna have to nail it. Oh. Did we, we nailed it, okay, good. <laughs> there we go. Two hours later, oh. everything is going smoothly so far. Getting famished here! Just kind of yell that out, and that's the cue for the stewardess. Oh, goody, just in time. Tonight for meal service, we have chicken or fish? Fish or chicken? Oh. Ooh, that's not good. I need to get fish, but I don't really have a choice. It's kind of random. Uh, oh, thank God. Okay, way to go, Marty. Here you go, sir. Enjoy. Thank you. I will. It's like I said, it, it looks like it's alive, but as long as he enjoys it, that's what matters most. What do you mean you're out of fish, big dude? It's Good Friday, and I can't be eating no chicken, Jack. I'm telling you. I think that he is Marty's kid's actual father. Okay, I, I know he's not exactly a milkman, but still. I'm so sorry, sir. That gentleman took the last one. Uh, huh? Boy. Listen, Jack, the Bolstonator needs that fish, and he needs it now, Daddy. <laughs> make your stand. I need to make a stand. This is where we screwed up last time. This is gonna diverge us into multiple new endings, so Marty, for the love of God, just, just shoot him! Are we gonna get tackled by an air marshal oh. again? I mean, he shot us, it's always fair. No. Listen up, big brother. The bulldozer can't take another strike with a big dude in the sky, Daddy Jack. So hand over that fish. Uh. I will not, sir. <laughs> Yay! What? what? <laughs> did, did he just spin kick us out of the plane? Wah! <laughs> Say, brother dude, you can take one hell of a bump. Hop on, Daddy. We got work to do. Hop on. On? Isn't that what you told my wife? <laughs> Up and away? I love the fact that they're questions, because that's how I would read them. <laughs> what the hell do you mean, up and away? I need to, st I need to steer and shoot. Oh, 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 birds. We got hit by a bird. Ah, yay. <laughs> I think that's bad. I think we might have failed. Greetings, human. Oh. Oh, well, I'll be dipped. Greetings to you, friend. Yes, friends. Will you help me, 
friend. I'm looking for your friendly leader. Oh. Is that all? Well, let me drive. I'll have us there in a jiffy. Oh, no. Do you see? How did we go from family vacation to steering a UFO to the president? Oh, 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 okay. Oh, oh, there I am. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it figured out kind of. Uh, how do I cross? Oh, there we go. We gotta go to a crosswalk, of course. It makes total sense. Total sense. Don't worry. Don't, don't worry, bud. I'll get you there in no time. Everything is going smoothly. Careful. Here. Yeah. No, no, no. We're gonna, we're gonna play it safe. Why is there so much air traffic? Where is my plane? I think we got this. This isn't too difficult. The fact that I can go forwards and backwards, I can't stop moving, but I can kind of just strafe a little bit. You got this, Marty. For a first time UFO pilot, I gotta say I'm impressed. Usually you screw up everything, but this might be the first time you actually succeed. On behalf of my fellow Americans, let me welcome you to Earth. Thank you, friendly leader. We have for you a gift. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Greetings, my fellow American Earthlings. <laughs> friendly news for all. We have decided to destroy your most unfriendly son. I mean, technically they did start the Space Force, so this might already be in full effect. So what would have happened if Marty didn't drive safe? Like, what if he just has a head-on collision? Is he gonna save the world? Ooh, yeah, that looks bad. Whoa, heck of a fender bender there, pal. Unfortunately, my vehicle is uninsured. You look quite upset. Oh, 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 come on. Uh, just what's going on here? What does it look like is going on here? This bastard is an uninsured driver. I'm sorry, I, I, it's a UFO, is that a fact? I know just what to do with him. Oh, come on. Fresh meat for you, boys, eat up. Oh, no. <laughs> so we could have blown up the sun or become a prism. Man, Marty's just got it rough. Now I need to know what would have happened if we didn't fly into a bird. Like, I was a little overwhelmed by this at first. It's not every day that you get yeeted out of a plane and then you have to hold on to a flying wrestler for dear life as he fires ice stars from his face at a flock of birds. It was bad enough that you may or may not have banged my wife. I don't need this today. Just avoid the birds. I think we avoided the birds. We avoided the birds! Okay. Gonna start a family together now, I assume? Okay, baby Jack, need you to run in there and rough someone up for the bull daddy. <sighs> what? Again, is that all euphemism? Are we starting a family? <laughs> I'm not gonna be the one to have the butt baby. Just run in there and hit him with the old bull terrier motive. <sighs> huh? Boy. Come on, dandy daddy, work with me here. <sighs> uh. <laughs> Go bash his knee in with his pipe. Well, why didn't you just start with that? Oh. Deal! That seems pretty straightforward. Feed your bloodlust. <laughs> All right, Marty, it's, it's time to feed your bloodlust, Marty. Release the beast all over his knee. Oh. Marty, that wasn't his knee. Better give him one more whack just to be sure. Marty, that, that wasn't the... That's not the knee. Mar Marty, Mar... Marty, I know his head used to look like a thumb, but now it's, oh no, it's starting to look like a chicken that got run over by a car. <laughs> oh, now he's looking like Admiral Ackbar. Come on, Marty, stop. <laughs> My God. Oh. oh boy, I haven't had this much fun in years. Where to next, pal? Okay. It's a learning experience. We've learned that you can't trust Marty with the tire iron. What if we just don't hit it? But maybe we could just kind of hang out, puss out, see how that goes. <laughs> Bull, you villain! Thought you could take your old Lex out with a wimp of a cheap shot? You won't get away with this. Oh, that's right, Lean Ween. That snake Bull Bogan sent an assassin to strike me in my bed. This Sunday night, the Lex Express is gonna train wreck his ass. <laughs> the Athletics Commission hearing room? In light of the evidence and the testimony given here today, we have no choice but to strip you of your title effective immediately. <laughs> what does that have to do with Marty?
Marty. That might be Marty's best possible ending because at least he got off scot-free. Let's rewind things even further back to fish or chicken. And it's like I said, I don't really have a choice here, but if we can manage to get chicken, then I should be able to make my way to a new ending. Here you go, sir, enjoy. Oh, I will, or at the very least I'll try because up until this point, I've apparently not been enjoying the chicken. He always exchanges it for fish because I'm not fast enough, but this time I am ready to enjoy. <laughs> Give me this chicken all oh, my fingers. Mmm, 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 that's some good chicken. There we go, he enjoyed it. So we're on to a new path with senior correspondent Bumchin. <laughs> Say, friend, would it surprise you to know you're eating Professor Ezekiel Nantucket baked chicken? Yes, it would, because I don't know what those words mean and I am on a plane. Was he the one that firebombed my restaurant? I think he was. It was Professor somebody, it, it, it was a chicken guy. <laughs> yes, yes sir, it would. The fine folks at home are just dying to know, how many stars would you give it? How's the chicken? Oh, you better believe I'm gonna give this the lowest rating possible. <laughs> Let's go with that. One star, can I give zero? Meanwhile, at the Ezekiel Manor. <laughs> well, sir, if I'm being honest, I'd really only give it one star. One? I'm gonna firebomb that guy. <laughs> it's me, yes, I have a job for you. Do the job? What? Is, oh, 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 uh, uh. Did Marty just get assassinated? Was I just assassinating Marty? I killed the assassin. <laughs> Way to go, Marty. Oh, get your revenge. Get your revenge for our beautiful steak shack. Oh. And there you have it. The best ending to Air Marty, unless he's gonna jump off this building all of a sudden. This might be the only time things have gone well for Marty. I'm a little suspicious as to what's about to happen. Marty? What are we looking at right now? That might be a reference that I don't get, but it may also just be that Marty took over the chicken empire. <laughs> Again, good ending, finally. So if I'm the one doing the job, I'm the hitman, then I must have missed Marty. I could have swore that I hit him, but I'm gonna try to actually get him in the back of the head now. Did I get him this time? There we go. Nothing personal, friends. Oh. I'm sorry, Marty. I really didn't have a choice. Job well done. Here's $500. <laughs> Don't spend it all in one place. Just one more thing. Really? You couldn't have given him like $20,000 and then shot him? You gotta be a cheapskate? He doesn't want to get his money bloody. I see how it is. Chicken cheapskate. I know he said it was nothing personal, but it feels personal. Getting shot in the back of the head, having your restaurant blown up. Very personal. That being said, I'm gonna set it aside. I'm gonna try my best to give this guy five stars. How about that? Oh. You feel better? Five star all the way. Hey guys, I'm picking up something here. What the hell is that? Have the chicken overlords finally come for us? <laughs> oh, gee, they have. Wait, what? I was joking. Defend yourself. Uh, uh, no, no, Marty, I don't know what this means. Defend how? Can I turn? I can't turn. Oh, I can turn around. Uh, okay. Okay, I can't defend. Defend, Marty. Defend yourself. I can't believe I didn't get eaten by a chicken there. That's how it all began. At first, we thought it was just the poultry that rose up for revenge. But the entire damn farm turned the tables on us. Oh, it wasn't long before we were totally overrun. Now humanity's fate is in my hands. Oi. <laughs> Just call me the butcher. 
What? What happened to Marty, though? It, <laughs> really? It's not entirely unreasonable. I, I think there's like five chickens for every human on Earth, and then even more cows and pigs and sheep and God knows whatever else. I think we failed. I don't think we managed to defend ourselves. I'm gonna try again, except for this time I actually know how to shoot. <laughs> and hopefully I won't be losing health. Do I have a health bar somewhere? I'm just gonna go full blown bullet storm and try to take out as many chickens as possible. Just keep them away from you, Marty, and everything is going to be fine. There we go. That has to be good, right? Yeah, okay. This doesn't sound good. Uh, did they summon a chicken god? We hit it with a nuke. Oh, good. So in all reality, we solved world hunger, or at least fed the city for a day. So for another group of endings, we're gonna have to backtrack once again to the point where we had to make a stand for our fish. And we've managed to make that stand now, and we found every ending that way, but there are a couple if we don't, so I'm just gonna let him shoot me in the head. Oh. You'd think that would be the end, but nope, apparently not. Uh, here you go. <laughs> Thank you, brother. I can see you're one of my little bullthusiasts. Uh. I, uh... <laughs> Here's a little gift, Big Jack. Go ahead, try it on. I think we did put it on last time. I'm gonna try to not put it on. How would he feel about oh. that? Won't fit, oh well. It's in space now. Boy. Nay, now wait. Ladies and uh, gentlemen, this is the uh, captain uh, speaking. We're uh, experiencing some uh, turbulence. Please uh, return to your uh, seats. Turbulence, my ass, this shortcut over Monster Island is a mistake. <laughs> Watch and learn, Jackson. Fly like a pro? Is Marty flying all of a sudden? Why am I in control of this? Okay, okay, every, everything is fine, everything is fine. We, we can't shoot, we, there, there is no shoot. <laughs> surprise, surprise, passenger planes don't have guns. Come on now, can we fly into the sun? Would, would that help? Maybe I'm just gonna go up here and, and give the sun a smooch. Help, help, nope, nope, it's it's in the background as the sun should be. Yeah. I think, I think we got hit by a monster. I really tried my best there. I feel like I held out for way longer than I needed to. Well, hot dog, enjoy your vacation, Mr. Monster of the Year. Oh, well, good for you. Don't you just have a lovely family that are all definitely your kids? Probably, maybe, I'm not jealous at all. I don't know what they mean by fly like a pro. Like, is it unreasonable to say that a 747 isn't meant to dodge monsters and fireballs? <laughs> and that's all I can do. My only option is move around. I don't have shoot. So I just gotta hope that this guy either gets some Pepto-Bismol to calm his tummy or these monsters finish migrating for the winter, summer, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm new to all this. Just gotta wait them out. Why does he scream every time he burps up a fireball? Better yet, why do they care? I'm just a plane. I'm just going on my way. I'm not that interesting. Please, just let me go. This is eternity. I don't think I hit anything. Yes! Gosh darn it, Cork X. That's the third one you've let get away this week. I'm sorry, Mr. Cron. Oh no, he's got a family. Save that story for the milkman sport. I'm gonna have to let you go. Well, Corkax lost his job today. Hmm. Preposterous, no son-in-law of mine is gonna go unemployed. Oh, you start work for me first thing Monday morning. Well, chin up, Corkax. Yay, thanks, Daddy. Uh. You're nine iron, sir. Listen, okay, we can't all be shooting down fireballs and be big bad monsters. Some of us need to be caddies and there's no shame in that. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Air Marty, guys. We did really well this episode. I got like a dozen more endings, probably as many as the first three videos combined. You're really flying through them now that I can kind of continue from specific points and lay out a plan. So if you guys wanna see more, as always, be sure to like this video, let me know. There are still plenty more endings to find and I would imagine they are gonna be just as screwed up as these ones were. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.